So Apple Compressor also received some new improvements that are worth talking about. Let's take a look. So what are audio descriptions? Audio descriptions, like the name suggests, is a narration track that describes in precise language what is happening on screen so that a blind or visually impaired person can understand the story. I have opened a Final Cut project with a short film I produced. I use the voiceover tool to create an audio description which is connected as a custom role group. Let's take a listen. A large kitchen with Christmas decorations covering every countertop and wall. A girl dressed like an elf is busy decorating cupcakes. She grabs a large gingerbread cookie to inspect it before taking a bite out of it and tossing it over her shoulder. Before you can add an audio description and compressor, you'll need to export the audio as a separate file. In the interest of time, I won't export the entire movie, just this first section by setting a range. Press Command E to export a master file, give the file a name, set the format to audio only, click Next, then Save. You'll need to export the movie a second time, but this time without the audio description role. Open the Timeline Index and disable it. Press Command E, name the movie, set the format to video and audio, and choose a codec. I'll use ProRes 422. Click Next, then Save. I should point out that what I'm about to show you will not work by sending your project to Compressor. You must export a separate movie file and a separate audio description file. In Compressor, drag the exported movie into the batch window. With the job selected, locate Audio Properties in the Inspector. To add the audio description, click Choose, then navigate to your exported audio file and click Open. The descriptive audio track has an AD label next to it. The stereo track above it is the embedded soundtrack of the movie itself. Enable the AD track, then play back to hear the descriptive audio. A large kitchen with Christmas decorations covering every countertop and wall. A girl dressed like an elf is busy decorating cupcakes. Set the language and country then locate an encoding preset and drop it onto the job. Set the destination then start the batch. Once completed, navigate to the file and open it in QuickTime Player. Click the Subtitles button on the player controls to choose the movie soundtrack or the audio description track. A large kitchen with Christmas decorations covering every countertop and wall. Another small but noteworthy addition to Compressor is the ability to export square or vertical videos, but with one limitation, which I'll get to in a moment. Here, I've imported the same HD movie we just looked at. I'll add a preset to the movie, then click the Video tab. Using the frame size pop-up, you'll see square and vertical frame sizes listed in the custom section. I'll choose one by one square. In the viewer, the dimensions are still 16 by nine. So in order to output a one by one movie without squishing the video, you'll need to choose a cropping preset that matches your output dimensions. In this case, I'll choose one by one. The viewer now displays the one by one crop boundary. And as I scrub through the movie, I can preview how my shots will be framed within the square. The one limitation of this method is that unlike Final Cut Pro, which uses AI to adjust each shot's position relative to the subject, Compressor will always keep the movie centered. Said another way, there's no smart conform in Compressor. If you need to batch encode multiple videos where the subject is, for all intents and purposes, center frame, then this workflow could save you a lot of time. So that's what's new in Compressor. What do you think? Leave your comments below, and thanks for watching.